Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. So, I'm going to show you how text to speech works on Kindle e readers today uh, via the uh, accessibility feature called Voice View. Um, so, Kindles used to have like regular text to speech, you could enable it in the settings menu. Um, but now you got to use this voice view screen reader, which works as an accessibility feature. So it takes a little bit of getting used to because you have to navigate your Kindle in a different way. You got to use taps and swipes. But once you get used to it, it works pretty well. So I'm using an Anchor uh, Bluetooth speaker for this video. These work quite well. Battery lasts really long. So here's a quick example of how text-to-speech sounds on Kindle e-readers. Then we'll talk about the navigating more in a second. A sudden thought came into my head as I stooped towards the portal. For once, at least, I grasped the mental operations of the Morlocks, suppressing a strong inclination to aim had. So it doesn't sound too bad by text-to-speech standards. You can also adjust the speech rate in the settings menu. Uh, and then once it gets going, it'll automatically turn the pages as well. Threw my iron bar away. Almost sorry not to use it. it does click every time it turns pages, though. A sudden though. thought came into my head as I stooped towards the portal. For once, at least, I grasped the and... Double tap and hold for more options. You can select words by tapping them. Stood. And then you can swipe through Double the selections. Tap I. Or you could just tap I. that dif different Rock word. Stood. Home button. So as you can see, you got to swipe and double tap for everything since it's an accessibility feature designed for people that can't see well. Voice view enabled. Voice view screen reader. Home button. Double screen reader on. So you can scroll through each like Blue of the menu Chief items. On. Or you could just tap the menu home. item Button and then back. double select, Button. double tap again Click to actions. select it. So there Button. are different ways to navigate. Unavailable. Store. Button. Search. Button. Menu. It'll Button. always read aloud what's going on on the screen. And menu. Including Kindle the menus. Store. Button. Item one of seven. Double tap to select. So if you just want to use the text-to-speech features, it's not exactly as convenient as it used to be. Uh, the voice does sound better, but again, I mean, it takes some... Uh, getting used to learning how to navigate with this different method but it is possible and uh, it's, you can get text to speech working on your kindles pretty easy it works with the entry level kindle kindle oasis this is the kindle paperwhite 4. easiest way to turn it off is just to tap the bluetooth kindle. icon and button. then double tap to turn bluetooth it off button. instead of swiping turn off voice view dialog box are you sure you want to turn off bluetooth and cancel but turn off button so now we're back to regular interface. You can swipe to turn pages again and everything's back to normal navigation. So yeah, I mean, it is an option for text-to-speech if you want to use it on your Kindle. Fire tablets do work better because you can just go into settings, turn it on, and then you can easily toggle it on and off. But for those that want text-to-speech on the Kindle, they do have that option. Uh, like I said, it works with the entry-level Kindle as well. I mean, it'll even work with the older Kindles, but you got to use an audio adapter since they don't have Bluetooth. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up this video. Check out theebookreader.com. Bye.